picking up the pressure and getting it across half court. There's Raza, nearly stripped away by Gray. Good pass, recognition of Moore down low, and another layup. Has done her best work this year on the block. Creates another possession. Sharp, good feed. Raza, count the basket. Yes, they are. And the foul. Being able to play through. Last year, she would not have completed that all the time. This year, with confidence, with ease. A little bit better job of that. Shot clock is off, five seconds. Down to three now, Sharp hits the cutting. Ratza, who gets it to go at the buzzer? It has missed its last six field goal attempts. The last field goal came at the 8.53 mark of this first quarter. Ratza, Ratza for three. Solid defender, not really a big scorer, but, but will give you some extra burst on the defensive end. That's a good move. Ratza, a good take for the first bucket of the game. Down to Scruggs. Wake Forest pushes the pace. Nice. Dump off for Ratza, gets the bucket and the foul. And we talked about the possibility of being a very good athlete, and Scruggs could do that. It's at the length of the floor, the good pass there in a position where you can make a play. Panthers, one of their last nine from the field on the offensive end. Deep three for Ratza, and she buries it. Turnover for Pittsburgh. This time it was Udo who batted it away. She'll get the chance down low and she finishes. Extends the lead to 10. Tipped and taken away by Conti. A three on one in the open floor and a nice no look dish to Ratza. The crowd, maybe it's playing in front of you know, the atmosphere at home, but today. Pretty strong overall, is a nice take. And there you see some of the skill of Ivana Ratza. Ratza, he has been in a slump during Wake Forest losing streak, but <laughs> what's the best way to get out of a slump? Shoot your way out of it. Shoot and she gives Wake Forest the lead. To see Ratza, she just looks nowhere to go. Armos is standing straight up right there, but she decides to let it fly. Just in scoring, but in rebounding without Janelle Bailey for North Carolina. Ratza catches at the foul line, one dribble, score, and one. We're talking about defending and your own player. If you guard your own. But Carolina, in 26 games, inside the Mora, she scores. The Cardinals have only had one game all season decided by five points or less. Final seconds of the quarter. Ratza still has time. Pivots, shoots, scores! Ivana Ratza beats the buzzer, and Wake Forest looking to get back to the 500 mark for the season. Muhammad's got an option here to drive. Good Swatted recovery. by Ratza. Good recovery by Ratza. She produced 15-9 and nine in just 17 minutes. Ratza scoops it in high off the glass. I'll give some thought to that and give you uh, some some notes on, on my thoughts in just a minute as we watch Ratza. Ivana Ratza. How about that? Wow. Had a tap out for a Wake Forest rebound. That's not going to show up in the stat sheet, but it certainly shows up when your team gets possession. Ivana Ratza gets a piece of the Miami shot. How about Bailey playing a little point guard on that last fast break? I thought someone was going to come back and take a charge. <laughs> Ratza, who had 21. To lead Wake Forest in the regular season win over North Carolina. Anaranta is starting to get hot. Wake Forest deadly score from the outside. She can run the floor. You got to get a hand in her face. Averaging about 20 points per game over her last five. A lot of confidence in her offensive attack. Jen Hoover feeling like Rata, the toughest matchup for this Tar Heel defense to handle. a matchup problem because Chatinge is used to hanging out a little bit more in the paint. Next one will put Wake Forest in the bonus and they use that line to their advantage yesterday. Rata has her first point. Here is Rata. Going to need to hurry. Does take the shot. No rushing there. 16 for Rata.